and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube who's watching this video later on over there for some Naya Legends to continue our Sunday fun day stream today. So far, so good. We've had Mardu Angels and Bant Party Bus uh, be a lot of fun to play, especially the Bant Party Bus. If you missed that video, check that one out, especially the fourth match on that one. That was a whole lot of fun. Uh, but now we have Naya Legend. So what this deck is about, um, this was a deck from before War of the Spark, before we had all these new Planeswalkers, which you know certainly helped the deck. But this deck is about the legendary sorceries. We have Druidic Vows, Kaya's Immolating Inferno, and Urza's Ruinous Blast. And in particular, in the previous format, Urza's Ruinous Blast was like the like the highlight of the deck. Like this card was just so well positioned. However, these days, there's a whole lot of Planeswalker decks, as we were just talking about, and Urza's Ruinous Blast is not exiling Planeswalkers. So we have those over in the sideboard now. So now we're more focused on Kamal's Druidic Vow. So that's right, GGX, look at the top X card of your library. You can put any number of lands and legendary permanents with CMC X or less onto the battlefield. So you just put a bunch of lands and uh, legendary permanents. So that's why you see everything in here uh, every permanent besides the Paradise Druids and the Land War Elves, they're all legendary. So we're just trying to ramp up with these, um, have you know, have like some sweet mid game with all these three, fours, and fives, and then boom, play a big Druidic Vow. Hopefully for X is five. You know that's where we really want to wait till we have like seven mana. So we reveal the top five cards and put everything into play because that will hit all these five drops and everything, and it can be a, a real big swingy play. It was the Command the Dread Horde before Command the Dread Horde um, kind of thing. And the first Druidic Vow sets up your second one even better because you, you do put in all the lands into play, so then your next Kamal's Druidic Vow you have a whole lot more mana for. So they chain really well together. Um, and uh, yeah, that's so that's our deck. We have like some good aggressive elements. Lannery Storm, Kranko, Tajik, Gideon... Um, and then we have like some angels to back back them up. Also, just a pretty sweet deck. Like you know, everything's basically one or two of, and so all the, all the games are kind of going to be different. And that's a lot of fun. You know, we play a lot of different games. So let's give it a try. So we're heading on over to our traditional constructed queue, playing till we win five or lose two, whichever happens first. Hey, Chronic Slayer. You've been streaming me since Friday? Nice. Just go to, your, go to the computer and I'm still on. There you go. Alright, good. Good opener. Sure, a tad slow, but Lannery Storm makes a treasure uh, whenever it attacks, so we can... We have turn 4 Sarkin here. Ooh, the red deck. Gross. Gross, the red deck. <laughs> if only we could cast Immolating Inferno already. Maybe our opponent won't kill the Lannery Storm. Like, if I play Domri, they're killing Domri. We'll play the Lannery Storm, we get the token. Maybe they won't kill it. And then we'll have the Legendary Permanent. We can cast Immolating Inferno next turn and kill some things. Dang, they killed it. Yeah, Resolve All. Oh, yeah, we have a treasure. We're going to have to click Resolve for every single little thing. Because they're like, are you sure you don't want to sacrifice your treasure? It's like, no, I'm, I just want to pass the turn. They're like, are you sure you don't want to sack your treasure? No. No. Ooh. Okay. All right, I'm in there. So playing Lyra and like 
it's kind of better to play Sarkin here first and let them make them use their burn spells on Sarkin and then play Lyra, but playing Lyra because we only have the one white source. So if I use the treasure on Sarkin, then I may not have another white source. Whoa, made him we stabilized. Stabilized. Alright, um. Hmm. Only dealing three damage. Can't kill Steamkin. You won't be mad to tussle with me. Oh, I'm sorry. Right. Yep, that's something? that's gonna be my line. I'll just go. Domri, man, add a mana, get this inferno, kill these things. Killing Firebrand is kind of important so that, because like otherwise I would be able to have like I I would have been able to have like Lyra fight Steamkin, but I would put four damage on Lyra and then Firebrand would finish off Lyra. Or Lyra, I don't I don't know. Let's go. No attacks for another turn. Hope they don't kill Domri. So I can fight this next turn. That was not a good use of that card. They would just like there's just no reason to cast the wizard's lightning right there unless you're just giving up be nothing but dust when I'm cause then done. like they could have just wizard's lightning the the lyra all right wander clarions night of autumn coils Hmm. Fortunately, this isn't much of a Druidic Vow match. You know, like, wait, trying to get till seven mana and everything. Maybe keep one in. Um, we'll get rid of Krinko. We'll get rid of... Which of these five drops? Is Sarkin or Nissa? Which which one's worse, Sarkin or Nissa? In this matchup, I think Sarkin's worse. Well, I'll take out two Sarkins and one Nissa, so we'll keep one. We'll keep one Nissa. Yeah, I'm thinking Nissa's better because, yeah, how Sarkin dies to shock and everything. But Nissa can make can make a three three, have a whole lot of loyalty, come back, make another three three, make another three three. You know, can keep on making three threes. So we have Amara into Tajik. We already have Amara into Domri. I mean, 
let's let's keep it because to sh if we can if we can do this Tajik Shalai is the combo like Tajik Shalai just shuts him out it's it's hard to pull off though because you have to untap with one of them so it's it's hard to pull off but if we can if we can get it because Tajik prevents the damage dealt to Shalai and Shalai says you can't target anything else I could see them just having I could see them just having frenzy here. That firebrand is so annoying though cuz chain whirler now kills Tajik. Okay, come on, draw land. We have we have like what 26 lands in this deck? Oh no, I have 25. Okay. Come on, draw land, draw land. Draw land. Ooh, we're doing it. We're doing it. We're doing it. Okay, now we have to survive through the attackers. One more land would be GG for sure. We just gotta survive through attackers. All right, I, I don't think I can risk, I don't think I can have Tajik block Lava Runner. I don't think I can risk it. Like all they need is any spell to make Lava Runner a 2-2. I think this is over. Looks like we stabilized. It's looking like we stabilized. Looks like they were probably sitting on like just frenzies. Like a couple frenzies and a Chandra. Yeah, we stabilized. Got their GG. Shalai Tajik. Yeah, the only thing they can do is just go wide with creatures, but once I play Lyra the next turn, they they die. Because they can't... Yeah, none of their burn do does anything. So that's the only option. We top decked that land. Perfect timing for Shalai. Hmm. I think this is a mulligan. Ugh. Okay. I guess Krenko could steal this game, I suppose. Okay, well, Krenko is not going to steal this game. Yes, fighting is non-combat damage. So, yes, uh, if you fight with Domri, the damage is prevented if you have Tajik in play. If you fight with somebody else, you know, if you don't fight with Tajik. You know, because Tajik prevents the non-combat damage to other creatures. So you have to fight with a different creature.
Yeah, these are our first two red matches of the day. Just having to be back to back here. Oh yeah, we're one and zero. Sorry. Yeah, we got the blockers out. We need top deck Shalai. Yeah, because I mean, we're, we're basically at one life because of the risk factor, because I'm just going to take it. I think it makes sense just to take the, the four. That was a great top tech. You got it. Speaking of preventing the damage. We are the many. See, no damage on Krenko. Draw land. Brick. Brick. No. Uh, dead. So close. At least Cranko is sweet. Yeah, Cranko almost stole that game. Okay. All right, Demonic Fire Lord, I like that deck. Good Neoform deck. All right, I'll, I'll, I'll try that one out tomorrow, Demonic Fire Lord. That looks pretty sweet. So I was going to go Coil, Leonor, Elf, and then I realized that that would be pretty bad against Chain Whirler. So going with the Shalai instead. And hoping they hoping for no Coil or Double Burn spell. Let me play this Lyra.
All right, no attacks. Looks like they may have one three damage burn spell. They were cons trying to figure out how they wanted to use it. Maybe like if they wanted to attack and attack and burn. Angels. And the angels are so good. Yeah, party bus crushed it. Had some really good games. The fourth match of Bant Party Bus was crazy. In particular. What? I feel like my opponent was trying to do something else and it didn't work. I'm not sure. I don't know. Like maybe they needed to, yeah, maybe they needed to do it to two for two with coil or maybe they like had like for doing it for one they would have had to have two shocks also I d yeah I don't know I don't know what that was about question is can we get game three this game's over can we get game three I mean, it's, it's technically not over. I mean, there's it's theoretical that they could. I mean, they could, they could theoretically just win the game this turn. With frenzy steamkin, like if the the deck was stacked in like the perfect way. But obviously the percent chance of that would is would be so incredibly low. Looks like it's about to be over officially. Oh, I bet our opponents had a bunch of risk factors in hand. I bet that's like the card that they're trying to figure that they were like kind of waiting on was a risk factor. Oh, I yeah, I really like uh the Sephira Skyblade card. I like that one quite a bit. Safara from the new set. Yeah, I'm excited to play that one. Yeah, I'm going to be making a an all flyer deck. Yes, yeah, so you have to pay a white and then tap four untapped creatures you control with flying. There's some good flyers. You know, like Tamik, of course. Um, Kinjali Sunwing 
is an underplayed flyer that I've always wanted to find a room for somewhere. And this is this is perfect. This, I'm going to bust out some Kanjali Sunwings for that card. Hey, Fran. Yeah, I could have some afterlife creatures. For making it black white, get some uh like Yeah, we'd have some afterlife creatures. I believe Teferi stops electro dominance like it does Red Finale, I believe so. Yeah, it does. Yeah. All right, so we have our one Druidic Vow that we have left in the deck. That's an opponent giving up right there. Just turn one shock? What is that? Please no Chain Whirler. Please no Chain Whirler. No Chain Whirler. No Chain Whirler. No Chain Whirler. Boo. Keeping Coil for Rekindling Phoenix. If they just, like, suddenly dump two creatures, I'll feel kind of bad. But they didn't play any creatures turn one or turn two, so unlikely that that will happen. Oh, well, that thing has to die. Gotta get that thing out of here. Where are all these creatures coming from? So I could have played Tajik there and had them shock Tajik, and then next turn the Lyra would require two more burn spells, because it's basically, you know, two spells. Like, they have to use two spells to kill Dawnbringer. So, like, in that scenario, they need three spells. Like, one to kill Tajik, and then two to kill Dawnbringer. I mean, obviously, they could have, like, Fight with Fire. But, I mean, you know, like, for the most part, that's kind of how it goes. But, I felt if I just played the Tajik, they kill the Tajik, do a bunch of damage to me. Then I, I don't know, I felt like that wasn't... No, wasn't the best play. Please don't have another one. Oh boy. They don't know what first strike is. I feel bad for opponent. Well now, I was... I was planning on, if that didn't happen, if they just, like, passed the turn, I was planning on Druidic Vow for four, because I don't think just playing the Tajik was really good enough. But now we're so far ahead, because they did that. Now it doesn't really matter. So we get to we get to wait a turn in Druidic Vow for five, basically. Ooh, Shalai, Amara, and two lands. Alright, well we have Shalai Tajik combo. This game is just so over. Their cards don't do anything. They can attack with creatures and that's it. The only thing they can target as far as spell goes... No, man, you can do all the damage you want. The only thing they can target as far as spells go is Shalai, but Shalai can't take any damage. Well, 
I guess that's not optimal. I should I should let the Amara make the creature first, and then now I should pump July so I could have that thing be a 2-2. Oh well. Yeah, I think I think our opponent's a newer player and they didn't they didn't understand what these cards were doing. I don't think they've seen these cards before, honestly. Or how especially the game two when we had the July for how long they were looking at it. All right, Tuno. Naya Legends, moving on. Mono green stompy after this. And our deck really wants us to have lands. We have not seen a card that does not make mana yet. <laughs> we've seen 15 cards. Every single card we've seen makes mana. Heck yeah, Druidic Vow off the top. It's going to be real nice. They're going to Prison Realm the Cranko. Basically offering up the Cranko as a sacrificial Prison Realm target. Four three Jade Light's really big. Difficult to deal with. They kept on top with the scry. That's got to mean they found their fourth land, right? Yeah, Krenko's always getting a bum rap. The Ten Street Kingpin. Oh, they bottom scry? Might be. Yes, yeah, so we could we could have Domri play Domri, have Paradise fight Jade Light. Or I could even just, you know, block with Paradise, because it'll be a 3 1. You think I'm a trace beast? Where do you see my mates? When I'm finished here, there'll be nothing left but dust. Druidic Vow. Druidic Vow. Druidic Vow. No, we don't have any Clarion's main. We want to draw Druidic Vow so bad. We can Druidic Vow for a bunch. Druidic Vow for five. Okay. Okay, Tra. Oh, 
Have at it, boys. Now, Druidic Vow. Or Lyra or Shalai. Yeah, not horrible. It's better than another land, for sure. <laughs> no, I cannot explain banding. Nobody can explain banding, to be honest. We did it! Okay. Here we go. Uh, we won't answer to other guilds. Let's see. Let's go for six. No! <laughs> uh, not so good. Well, we got four lands out of there. And the problem is, is we hit... Um, well, let's just give, let's just give a Ketra Vigilance. I will lend you my strength. The problem is we hit a second Druidic Vow that went to the graveyard now. No. But yeah, our, our next Vow, the game's over if we draw another Vow. Ramped so hard. Like, who's the ramp deck now? We put a land on the bottom too with our scry. So many lands. Lands everywhere. Oh no, this we're gonna draw another Druidic Vow and it's gonna be incredible. Our sleeves like us. Nope. It's definitely gonna be another one. Okay, now our sleeves hate us. Should I be killing their Sun Petal Grove instead of their Tristani? It's their only white source. Okay. Decision. Gonna kill gonna kill Tristani. We are the many. Your light will cleave the darkness. I'm going vigilance, not lifelink. I'd rather have Oketra back to block than gain four life, because you know it's not Oketra's not doing both damage like when they chump block like this. So Oketra's just gaining four life if I go life link. So I'd rather have Oketra block. Uh, they needed the blue mana. Dang, so it looks like their last card's Krasis. That's unfortunate. If we could have just waited one more turn, I was gonna be able to Gideon minus six and exile Nissa. Could have just waited one more turn. But they got the blue man got the blue mana now.
Please, please don't be crisis. Maybe it's something else. Maybe it's not crisis. No, it's crisis. So am I gonna have to minus and exile crisis? Am I gonna have to sack my Gideon to get rid of the crisis? It's only a five five, I guess. Five five is not so so bad, I suppose. I thought it was going to be bigger, to be honest. Oh, is this lethal? Oh, no, they have the land where elves that get to block and everything, too. Dang it. I thought we could clear out their blockers. We can clear out three blockers, but then they sell the two land where elves. Dang it. Why don't they tap some more for the crisis? Um. Boys, show me what you're made of. Okay, well, I'm going to go ahead and, and kill the the Lanowar Elves still, erased from history, so they can't block with Lanowar Elves. Catcher only had one arrow. It's perfect. That was exactly what I wanted them to do. Exactly what I wanted them to do. One less fiend to fight. Yeah, Gideon's animation is sweet. Getting black bladed. Trust me, you'll thank me later. Bouncing prison realm. I'll protect you. Don't want to bounce a land war off and make me replay it with the Oketra in play. Gonna stone rain him. Ravnica deserves its demise. Come, sing the song of fame. Mm, now what? Looks like we're gonna get game one. Sing the song of fame. Yeah, who Ali's the best? If only Ruinous Blast, if only it would get rid of the lands that are turned into creatures. Ruinous Blast can get rid of all the mana creatures and their enchantment removal and their crises. Doesn't get rid of Nissa or the lands, though. This does get rid of Nissa and the lands. I 
I mean, it doesn't get rid of Nissa, it just gets rid of the lands. Um, I don't really know what I don't want, though. Yeah, I'm not sure if... I'm not sure if I should be taking out my mana creatures just because I'm bringing in Clarion. I don't know, honestly. <laughs> You're welcome, Nairoth says, thanks for playing these cool decks so I get to see cards I've never heard of before. <laughs> hey, you're welcome. All right, not the fastest of starts, but we got double vow. So, so if opponent has a real fast start, they're going to beat us. But hopefully they don't. Dang, that's bad. It means I can't even attack with the landry storm here. Give them this game too, with them being on the play and having turn four Nissa. They can have this one. So see here, Ruinous Blast wouldn't even do anything here. Well, in two turns, I can Druidic Vow for five. Next turn, I could Druidic Vow for four. Well, they should they should certainly make their creature their land a creature first. Behold, nature's true power. When's it ever not turn three or four Nissa? I know, right? That last game it wasn't. And that's why we won. Maybe a couple coils. Okay, what'd you do? You took out Sarkin? I, I wanna play Sarkin. I 
I guess I won't really be able to answer a big crisis if I take out if I don't play a ruinous blast. Immolating Inferno. Oh, we have a Clarion. I thought that was another land. I thought it was a four lander. All right, let's just try to get an untapped land before turn three. There we go. Perfect. Please play two mana creatures. Just play Paradise Druid, Incubation Druid, go. No, not Shalai. Ugh. Supposed to play that last turn. Ooh. So do I want to trade Aurelia and Shalai? If I if I do the Clarion pre combat, these two would trade. I guess not. Well, playing Tajik Clarion doesn't really all that does is just kill my Tajik. Doesn't doesn't make a lot of sense to do that. I mean, I guess I could have just Nissa this turn and then next turn to G Clarion, I suppose. What a strange and magnificent world. The land shall conquer you. I'll make that trade. Tajik for Shalai. I could have just I could have just put the counter on the, the stopping ground and made it a four four. But I like getting Shalai out of here. Oh my gosh. All right, this is going to be sweet. This is what you should be doing with Nissa. So 2, 4, 6, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. All right, 10. 10 me. 10 cards. We get um, two lands, three lands, a Gideon, a Tajik, and a Shalai. Okay, it could be better. Get rid of three mana creatures. But that's fine. I'd say I'd say that's still okay. Let me lead the charge into darkness. All right, let's go. Lifelink. I believe in you, friend. Hmm. 
Yeah, it's okay. It didn't didn't kill our opponent. Which I guess if I would have just attacked with the creatures, they were probably dead. Hooray! Naya Legends, 3-0. and <laughs> Yeah, it was not the upper bounds of what could happen. It was like a, it was like a, you know, a 50%. I still have this lowered. It was like a 50% Druidic Vow. Ugh. We'll take it. Yeah, this is a fun deck. Yeah. Yeah, this is a good, this is a good one. One in Sam the Band Party Bus. You know, just want some good, enjoyable magic. That's what we have here today. We're playing, doing Sunday Fun Day. Okay, should I shock in? Playing Forest. So I'm shocking in here, so if I draw Clifftop Retreat. Then I can play Lannery Storm next turn. Okay. Could be Frilled Mystic. Went that route instead of Shalai because of that. Still need lands. Oh no. Well, that's... That's our worst case scenario there. Manipulation. Lame. Witness the ties that I mean, I don't have a legendary permanent out anyway. I can't cast these things. The land fights for us. They get to activate Shalai. I don't have a Tristani in this deck. Certainly thought about putting a Tristani in the sideboard, but you know you don't play against too many mass manipulation decks these days. If if you're playing against mass manipulation decks, you should you should just have a Tristani in the sideboard. Um, could be over really any any of the sideboard cards. I guess probably over a Ruinous Blast. Would be the easiest place to put that in. Hmm.
I want to keep Renko. I guess not if I'm playing Clarion. <laughs> Keeping all the worst cards so they get worse. Yoink value. Yeah, Shalai's like good and bad there. Like Shalai does keep them from... Um, Shalai's good at keeping them from stealing a whole bunch of things with mass manipulation, but on the other hand, Shalai's a great card for them to take with a manipulation because of that activated ability. <laughs> Alright, plan is turn 3 Clarion. So I'm not going to play the Lanor Elf out first. Okay, we can Immolating Inferno next turn. Hey, my dude. Power surges through these lands. Harness the elements. I can take a hit or two. I can take a hit or two. Stop. Jaya coming through at the Prepare Inferno. Pretty sweet card there. Um, let's play this. Look for lands. Hey, over here! What's that smell? Oh, it's you burning. Share in my light. This game basically went as perfect as it could. So not. You know, not not sure sure we're gonna be able to get game three or not, but like this couldn't have really gone any better than what it did. What you getting at, Chandra? Sit back and watch it burn. All right, game three. Let's just try it again. See what we get. Run it on back.
keeping because of this card. Um, oh, I think I was hoping that was stomping ground. We're gonna need to draw lands, but we've got a lot of lands in the deck. This could be just a non-game though. Uh, looks like a non-game. All right, Storm. Have a good night. I'll see you tomorrow. Ooh. All right, we're in it. Hmm. Neither of these two cards stay alive. I walk a righteous path. I will lend you my strength. Guess we'll play the gain five life card. I believe in you, friend. I hate these Nissas and Sarkins looking so bad. Not looking good. Hmm, takes out the Gideon. Not quite indestructible. Oh, come on, deck. Well, that's game. Need Aurelia here. What? I guess. I guess to keep Frilled Mystic up, I guess. Or to play that thing. Hmm. Still can't play anything. Good game. Alright, we've got a loss. That was really disappointing draws. Just drawing five drop after five drop after five drop. It's unfortunate. Because we couldn't cast Inferno Wilhelm. You can only cast Inferno when you have a legendary creature or planeswalker in play. Yeah, GG's my toot. Okay, move out of the way. What's what's my hand? Uh, sure. After that last game of not having any mana, we'll keep this one with a lot of lands. And already getting rewarded. Shalai's a very good draw.
gear. I've lived with animals my entire life. Explains a lot, actually. For me. Bringing your comeuppance. Feather. They didn't play anything to save to me. So maybe they don't have anything to say feather either. And so of course have to have to fight like that because if I fight with the Shalai, the Domri dies and devastation. Okay, so they have the thing so indestructible. We can't really just stop this from happening at all. I will consume you. Yeah, like how how what are we gonna do about this Krenko? There's nothing. We just need to draw Lyra. Yeah, I guess when they played the Tamik, they only had red up whenever I fought the first time, yeah. And this game's just over. If they had the Samet Sprint in their hand, though, they could have made their Tamik bigger and killed my Shalai, but they didn't want to do that, I suppose. The land shall conquer you. Uh, perfect setup. Just the, the perfect setup. I mean, we need to draw Druidic Vow and do something crazy with Druidic Vow. I don't really know exactly what.
I am here to aid in the assault. Your light will cleave the darkness. Be wary of the ground you walk on. Uh, this game's a beating. It's like a game that we're just like, you know, like 98% to lose, but it's just going to take a while. And like every single one of these triggers is like, you know, cast the card, trigger, cast the card, trigger, and it's just such a beating. Okay, now we're like 99%. Unfortunately, like, the real problem for me is both Krenko and Feather are legendary. And so my, my, my main removal spell here, Runus Blast, doesn't affect them. That's a huge problem for me. So we'll play this Wanderer and see if Wanderer does anything. And we'll play these Coils. And Clarion can clean up some stuff. Uh, I guess Cinder Vines could do something, I suppose. Yeah, I suppose Cinder Vines could do stuff. Yeah, it might be good. Yeah, so they could be, but more importantly, we have to figure out what we want to take out, which I guess is going to be Huatli. I don't know. I always do that. I always like, you know, talk about stuff at the beginning and then, you know, talk about like the cards like they could bring in and everything and then realize that we have no time to take figure out what to take out because that's difficult. And so just run out of time. 
I guess our opponent's gonna crush us. Yeah, I mean, my hand's not, my hand's not good. Draws haven't really been helping. These aren't cards we want to be drawn right now. I should, I should have took this card out. I forgot about this card. This, this should not be in my deck right now. I'm moving on with my life. That first game is such a beating. I should have just I should have conceded that first game a lot earlier so I didn't have to get beaten down like that. And would have been more energetic ready to play the second game. So sometimes uh like there's there's people you always see in, in comment sections they're like oh you conceded way too early or you could see it too early you could have drawn x you know x y z like this could have happened sometimes you just gotta conserve your energy and um uh, you know go just go to the next game and just you know refocus and everything and not try to slog through something that you're almost certainly not gonna win um Yeah, it's a, with replacing Urza's with a Tristani, that's, yeah, if you expect, like, the mass manipulation decks, that's something to do. Urza's Ruinous Blast didn't look really good for us, kind of, at all, anyway, so, yeah, might as, might as well just do that. Um, and so then I wasn't really ready for sideboarding, all that kind of stuff. So that's that's a lesson there. I know. Yeah, we we really got stuck on lands quite a bit. With our 25 land, 7 mana creature, you know, so over half of our, our deck are land or mana creatures, you know, 32 of those, and we were getting stuck on land quite a bit. Hey, furry. GG's. But yeah, sweet deck. Uh, last two matches were kind of like that, um, but... Uh, let's see. Yeah, that's about it. Um, liked the cards in there for the most part. Yeah, we're on this back, but yeah, we just, uh, change that other thing, change that blast to the Tristani. Because, yeah, blasts were not, were not good for us at all there. Um, all right, so that's Nia Legends. Uh, started off really, really strong. Last two rounds didn't go quite as well, but that's okay. Uh, the other card that actually I really didn't like was Jaya's Immolating Inferno. I really didn't like this card, actually. I think... It was not good for us. I mean, there was, like, one time in one game against, like, the Nyssa that it was good. But besides that, there was a lot of times, like, where it was, like, stuck in hand and everything like that. I think I'd probably just want another Paradise Druid. I think that would just help out the consistency there. Just getting the Druid in instead. I think that's worth it, actually. Because, yeah, that Immolating Inferno looked pretty bad quite a lot. So there we go. Um, <laughs> Hawkeye, what are you doing? Clicking on stuff. Anyway, uh, if you're watching this on YouTube, hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, but thank you so much for watching, and I will see you for another one.